Hi, I'm Ernie Moy, Executive Director of the Veterans Health Administration Office of Health Equity. I will speak with you about how VA thinks about health equity as we ramp up efforts to address it. The views I share are mine alone, and I have no conflicts to report. VA defines health equity in terms of what most people and veterans want from health care, health. Our job is to, is to enable all veterans to get the medical and social support they need to achieve the best possible health outcomes. It is important to emphasize that equity is not the same as equality. Treating everyone the same does not get us to equity because not everyone is in the same place. As shown on the left, if we gave every veteran the exact same supports, some would not get what they need and be left behind. And this is inconsistent with the VA values. On the right, each veteran is getting what they need, not the same for everyone, so no one is left behind. This is how we achieve health equity. There are three pillars for achieving health equity. We need to build a diverse and inclusive workforce so we have the right people supporting veterans, people who are respectful and trustworthy, people who reflect our populations of veterans. The environment in which veterans live and work greatly influences health and we work with social workers and veteran service organizations to help veterans overcome social risks that affect their health. For example, since 2010, VA has helped over 850,000 veterans and their families avoid homelessness. But today, I'll focus on our work with providers to reduce health inequities in clinical care. In general, VA is at a point where we do not see large differences in the care we deliver to different groups of veterans. However, as veterans are receiving the same care, they are achieving different outcomes. For example, the left three blue bars show relative rates of cancer screening for black veterans relative to white veterans. You can see that black veterans are screened at higher rates than white veterans, with a relative rate over one. The right two red bars show relative rates of cancer mortality for black veterans relative to white veterans. As black veterans are screened for cancer at higher rates, they also die from cancer at higher rates, even after adjustment for, for comorbidities. We interpret this as indicating that it is not the care we are delivering that is driving differences in outcomes, but how that care is being delivered. Perhaps delivery needs to be personalized so that all veterans can better engage in behaviors that prevent and lead to equitable outcomes in cancer. To help providers deliver more equitable care and achieve more equitable outcomes, we have developed an equity quality improvement playbook. This approach seeks to leverage activities already occurring at VA medical centers. We propose lofty goals. The second element builds on current VA efforts to evolve towards high reliability organizations. However, this philosophy largely ignores patients. We insert the patient and equity into this framework explicitly as the high equity reliability organization. We think that, for example, a reluctance to simplify, a core tenet of high reliability organizations, requires consideration of the patient, often the most complex part of a care process. We think disparities are systemic defects that are incompatible with being a high reliability organization. We also develop dashboards to help VA medical centers understand their local disparities. This is an example of a dashboard we currently make available to anyone inside VA. It allows comparisons of different quality measures cut by race, ethnicity, sex, and rurality across all of our VA medical centers. It builds upon existing VA resources, including excellent data, especially on race and ethnicity, dedicated providers, researchers who have identified scores of successful disparities interventions, and quality improvement specialists trained to drive improvement. VA can also address many more issues than outside VA because veterans face fewer financial barriers when they come to us and they can be provided with many of the social supports needed to achieve good health. This is an example of what happens when VA medical centers focus on reducing disparities. Disparities get smaller while overall quality improves. Several years ago, nine VA facilities in the Middle Atlantic decided to reduce disparities in severe hypertension among black veterans. The facilities each chose their own interventions. You can see that over time, all were able to reduce disparities while maintaining high quality care for other veterans. With that, I'll turn to the next speaker.